So this evening, this afternoon, I uh, went down to the Super Mini uh, after dark and walked through the uh, jungle which we live in and walked up into the Pueblo, like the city area, which is, I mean, it's only like a fraction of a mile, it's not too far, it's just like a super small walk. And uh, I went in there, and when I was walking up there, it was nighttime, I went and got beers. And I bought a few beers, of course, because we like, uh, nos gusta tomando cervezas, that's what we do around here. But um, when I was walking back from the Super Mini, I kind of just like felt the vibe from this dude that was like kind of telling me to talk to him. And I don't know what it was. He wasn't like just straight up asking me for money or anything. He wasn't just like, you know, uh, being a, a person that was like trying to get something from you. He was just like kind of talking to me and I felt his vibe so I wanted to talk to him. And uh, so I went to the store to get some beers and get some stuff and come back home so I didn't really want to be gone too long because I didn't want April to be worried and like I didn't want her to like be angry that I was gone a super long time but this guy was like drawing me in and I was like fuck it okay he wants me to talk to him so uh, I actually literally like was already walking past him and I was like fuck it I'm gonna walk back so I walked back and I was like hey man I got some beers do you want to drink some with me that's what I told him in Spanish I said do you want to drink these beers with me and he was like yep so I sat down next to him on the edge and uh, we started chugging beers together, just like putting them back. And then we started talking about how like he had only been here for a long time too. And most people from this area of Lacamole are all like strangers from other areas. And there's ways to say that in Spanish, like estranjeros, like so. Most people are not from here, so we like bonded. Like we're just sitting there on the fucking like curb of the side of the street, drinking beers, just you know having a good time because nobody's from here. Nobody is actually like local. We're just like all people that have come here, and we had such a good time, like drinking a few beers and passing beers to other people. That he was like, here you go, I want you to have this. And he gave me this uh, like cross with this, uh, all these different beads and stuff on it. And I didn't ask him for it. He just like totally thought that he needed to give it to me. And all I did was drink a few beers with him and it was so cool. So much love to the people of Mexico to the people of Quintana Roo and Akmal and the migrant people that just decide that they want to come to this area, you know. This is such an area that is not about being from a certain location. It's totally about coming from somewhere else and coming together and becoming a people together because Akamal has only been here like as a Pueblo since the 90s. It's not even been here very long. So to think that being in Akamal and being a part of this Pueblo means that you have been here forever and you can't be a part of it unless you've been here forever is, you know, not even uh, intelligent thought because Akamal is all about being new and having people come from different areas and everybody coming together and just getting to know each other and the fact that people are not 
just like born and raised and belong here makes it to where everybody just comes together and talks and enjoys conversation and uh, becomes a part of community. It's a, it's a very beautiful thing. Love Akamal and I love you, babe. And I love you for recording.